hey how are you doing no i really mean how are you coping with lockdown i know some people are just absolutely freaking out by being at home and just kind of crawling up the walls and not interacting with other people and some people i speak to i just couldn't be happier by having the opportunity of just being at home and and spending more time with the family you know i work from home and my office is at home it has been for uh, many number of years and that's where i like it i've chose to to have my uh, my life my work to work in that way i'm, I'm just so grateful i'm spending more time uh, with the family right now but i know some people are, are finding it uh, difficult in this way and other people are seeing the opportunities in what's happening right now and i'll view some of the time we've had over the last uh, few weeks particularly to think about the businesses the processes how we function and how we can restructure some of those and how we can improve some of those and stripping some of them down rebuild them and improving the processes also i've just come out of ramadan for 30 days and you know it's a spiritual time but also a great reminder uh, and a reminder to be grateful for all the things that are good in our life and it just means that uh, whilst the world is thinking about everything that's going wrong it's just an opportunity for us to think about actually all the things that are in our life that are great so these are strange times we're in right now you know unprecedented it's certainly going to be the word for 2020 you know things are happening that none of us have experienced before none of us have seen in our lifetime and hopefully we'll never have to see again but it also means it creates a massive amount of uncertainty because we're not really sure what's happening. And even some of the people, the thought leaders we look up to, uh, the political leaders, um, you know, one day they might be saying one thing, another day they might be saying something else. And you've got a huge number of people that have got, maybe some call them conspiracy theories, but ideas about what's going on in the world and why these things are happening. But ultimately what we have to accept is things are changing and we need to adapt. And I remember one of the things that I learned in property very early on is the only certainty is constant change the strategies that we use when they work the timing is always evolving and us having an open mind to that and understanding when we use the right strategies for those particular uh, timing of the market is when they're going to work really well so for example um, people are looking for say uh, BMV property and, and distress sales a couple of years ago were really struggling the reason they're struggling to find those is because it's the wrong market the market is rising uh, sellers are quite confident in terms of what they're able to achieve in terms of an asking price because there's many more buyers than there is sellers but the market will start to change and we have to be ready for those changes we're all facing many challenges in our businesses uh, right now so particularly within uh, property uh, within our uh, lettings business we've had to restructure how we're working uh, some of the staff have uh, been furloughed looking to try and get them back in very soon and get the uh, the business operational again to the point it was uh, before i'm sure things are never going to be the same but we have to adapt with that our events are all pretty much stopped and kind of on hold um which is stressing me out because i like that connection of being with people and being able to help and serve them face to face none of that's happening right now and we don't know when those are going to restart and our developments and our constructions uh, some of them are ground to a halt because we just can't continue working because of either um, uh, the, the staff not being able to work in a safe way um, or just being able to get materials and some of the sites that are operational are really slowing down because uh, for example multi-finish you can't get it for no love no money such a basic product that we all rely on within uh, our, our projects doesn't matter if it's a big project or a small one we're doing but just a lack of supply means that it's causing huge amounts of challenges just trying to pick up materials and click and collect where something you'd be able to go into supplies and just pick up in five minutes now you're having to wait around for hours so all these things are having a knock-on effect in terms of how we function how we operate but we need to adapt and that's a key thing because this will change it isn't going to remain the same forever and it will move and progress on as well and we have to be ready for those changes so I've got some properties that are either just completed before lockdown or we're just getting to the point of near completion uh, before everything uh, got shut down. And I'll be speaking to estate agents again this week just to touch base with them about where are we, where they see the market. And it's really interesting about how they've been talking the market up. Personally, I don't quite believe that that's actually the case right now. I think there's been a bit of pent up demand for over the last few weeks where people have been thinking about moving. Uh, they've been at home for the last couple of months and now they're, they're actually uh, implementing that by going out, talking to agents, starting to, starting to do viewings again. And you're starting to see offers coming in on properties. You won't really see any price drops right now because it hasn't really trickled through. Unlike something like the stock market, when a change happens, it's immediate. We see it straight away, an immediate drop in the stock market but where in property it takes much much longer to trickle through and over the coming months 
I think we'll start seeing some price drops as it seems we start seeing a recession happening. Although the agents are talking about right now, people are coming out in huge numbers, looking at properties they're interested. Uh, there's there's a hunger there, and they're also talking about there'll be, uh, you know, unfortunately from all this situation, there'll be a lot of probate uh, property. There'll be uh, people uh, getting divorced as well because they've got to that point where they just don't want to be together. There'll be those property sales as well that be coming to the market. There'll be uh, baby boomers. There where people need to upside. They'll want property. All these things will have an impact in the in the market, and the market isn't that simple where one thing can make a huge difference. There's lots of little things going on that have an impact in the market, and there's also local micro markets which don't necessarily operate in the same as everywhere else. So little things like that can make a difference in terms of how the market's uh, working. So as the lockdown starts to lift and there starts to become some kind of normality, it will never quite be like it was before. Um, I don't think we'll see an immediate difference in the economy right now. And a lot of that is because the money the government has pumped in to be able to protect the economy. Because literally the economy was going at say 100 miles an hour and just bam, just stopped, a sudden stop. And rather than completely uh, collapsing what the government has done, put a huge amount of money and support in to try and protect it. But some of that is just delaying the problems. So for instance, uh, people are furloughed right now. There's grants and uh, um, loans available for, for businesses to kind of support them through this. Uh, you've got um, uh, mortgage holidays being available uh, for people and some of that's been extended. But the reality is this money is going to run out. It's not going to last forever. And there are some businesses that actually are just not going to be able to survive this. They're not going to recover. If you think about something like a uh, uh, you know a, a restaurant uh, that used to say have uh, 20 covers how is that going to work with social distancing how are they going to be able to function with the same cost but not have the same income coming in so, so uh, this is an example of some of the business that are really going to struggle to survive and ultimately what that will mean that will trickle down into unemployment so some people that are furloughed right now that are not working unfortunately they won't have a job to go back to they won't be able to because once the government support stops the employer will not be able to continue to take them on and support them and, and be able to keep them as an employee, which also would mean uh, unemployment levels will increase and that's what we'll, we'll start seeing um, the real impact in the housing market. So although right now we've been protecting a little bit of a bubble with all the funding that and the support that's in place by the government, but ultimately in a few months time, as it starts to wear off, that's when we'll see a real change in the housing market. So right now we'll be kind of flatlined and then we'll start to, to see this drop. And it's being ready to understand as the market's changing so you see where those opportunities uh, are. I hope the sound is okay on this filming. I'm actually filming in the garden right now. It's a little bit windy. We're just getting ready to have a barbecue. Another benefits of uh, being home in this glorious weather that we've got in Birmingham uh, today, making the most uh, of that. So really, I just want to finish by saying that we need to look for the opportunities in the marketplace as they start appearing. And some of the things that you've been doing in your property investing journey will probably be different to what you'll be doing going forward. And some of those strategies will no longer work. So if you think about some of the people that run service accommodation, businesses how they've been hammered over the last uh, few weeks unfortunately um, uh, you know we, we've survived that because we've had some uh, direct uh, corporate bookings and uh, NHS staff that we've had in the properties that's that's kind of helped but I know some people have just literally been throwing the keys back uh, and just handing back the properties because they haven't been able to survive that so we'll start seeing changes in the marketplace and you have to be ready for those um, just yesterday I was speaking to uh, a landlord and we we're talking about a potential lease option deal I can't remember the last time I had a lease option it was years ago because the market conditions haven't been right again just another indicator where these uh, things are starting to come back the market's going to change and those options will be there I'm starting to see some of those right now so look, just before I go, uh, if there's anything I can do to help you, just reach out. Remember, there's two things that I can probably do to help. One is if you want to learn to do what I do, so you can do that for yourself, uh, get in touch. And the other one is if you want to invest with me and you have at least £50,000 to invest, get in touch and let's have a chat. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.